Morning peeps, Lethal here. This week I'm here to introduce you to the wonderful world of one string cigar box guitars. It's a marvellous instrument. Um, so what can I tell you? Basically, um, it's more commonly known these days anyway as a diddly bow. Um, I think strictly speaking a diddly bow back in the day was really just a piece of wire that was nailed to a fence post. Um, very much like this one. Um, what can I say? You have a nut and bolt for the bridge. Uh, this one here has got a jubilee clip or a hose clip for the nut. And uh, obviously the business end is between there and there. Which on here has a scale length of about 24 inches I think. And that's about it really. Um, fun for all the family. First thing people always say about this is like, it's only got one string. And you're right, it's only got one string. But, uh, you know, play it with a slide, right, obviously. So I'll give you a little demo and then I'll tell you a little bit about it, okay? Um, so yeah, basically you'll notice on here, these little cross marks, basically they correspond to the third, the fifth, the seventh, and the 12th fret, right? And the way you establish that, the way you work these out, the most sort of like commonly regarded way of doing that is to uh, play Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple, right? Um, and that will give you positions for the third, the fifth, and the seventh. So I'll run you through that. It's literally just that. Uh, And your 12th is easy on here. Um, yeah, the scale length on this is 24 inches. So exactly halfway between is 12 inches. And there's your 12th fret. And really that gives you everything you need for rock or blues. So it's literally just like... That's basically it. Um, here we have another one that I built earlier. <laughs> I built this one quite a long time ago actually, and as you can see this one's electric, right? Uh, the box that I used for this is a beauty. The box that I used for this used to be my crystal box, right? So I used to keep all my crystals in here until I got too many crystals to fit in the box. And so I turned it into a one string instrument. Um, but I swear it's got a beautiful tone and I do put a lot of that down to the fact that it used to be the crystal box personally. Let's hope so anyway. <laughs> As you can see this one's electric. Very cheap single coil pickup. I bought this off of Amazon. It's the sort of thing you use to just amplify an acoustic guitar really. Um, volume tone. Pre-wired, so if you're no good with solder or solder, depending where you come from, how you pronounce that. If you're not much good with solder, it doesn't matter. You can like buy the whole thing ready, and um, I'm not even worried about earthing this. Really, just throw it straight into the box, put your buttons in, put in your lead, and you're ready to go. But it really does have a beautiful tone. This one, I thought. So I'll just give you a little go on this, right? Um, hopefully. Seems it's uh, used to be the crystal box. <laughs> it should come out with some quite nice healing sounds anyway. I'm hoping so, that's the idea. So that, again, I'll just give you a little demo on that, okay.
So there is really your one string. Um, there's fantastic videos out there if you want to learn how to make these things. Um, I would all love to give a massive shout out to Del Puckett, um, Chicken Bone John, two excellent channels on there. Um, oh, there were so many. Nigel McTrustry, yeah, and um, many, many. I might do one myself actually on how to make these, but uh, really, you know, I just wanted to sort of like feature them more than anything else. I've got some sort of fancy pants ones like this, you know, with frets and everything. But really, I prefer these, you know. I like the bit of wire that was nailed to the fence post, if you like. Anyone can play. You know, even if you think you can't play, you can. It took me about 10 minutes to learn how to play one of these. And I'm a drummer, really. I never was a guitarist or anything like that, as you can tell, right? So there it is, the deadly bow. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, even better. I do appreciate it. Um, and thanks, you know, big shout out to everyone who watched my last video. I do appreciate it. You can tell I'm nervous as heck. And like, uh, well, there it is. I look forward to seeing you again soon. All right. Take care then, folks. Bye for now. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.